All right, so in this last little steam controller input vid that I did, the old vid that I did, I was talking about some big picture configuration specific tweaks and something popped out. I play Geometry Dash mentioned, put the right pad as mouse cursor, put the touch binding to select and have a long press empty binding so you can quickly tap to select which I said, yeah, I like that. So yeah, he's testing it as reload, but it kind of got me, it, it got the old brain meat throbbing. So I was thinking about that and I'm digging it. Uh, oh, I forgot to hide my bookmarks. You know, good luck trying to decipher the riddle of my brain. Here, yeah, here, here. My secret's out. <laughs> I've been looking at some smoked fish. All right, so anyways, that's that's a bonus. So let's hop in a couple things with this, just as I've been testing it a little bit. For one, if you have a double tap binding, delete it. I'm just keeping this as empty just so I can list just so I have some room to describe what's happening, you can still use a double tap. So what the deal is, sorry, I have regular press changes my view. A long press, actually let's do one notch, is an empty binding that interrupts it. Double press is, just for testing purposes, is a fire weapon. This cord will get into that that's it's not there yet i'm trying to figure out some ways to keep uh well yeah i'll just show you so that's what we got so now i do a tap i change my view double tap i fire my weapon so i can still you can see like it's not registering it when i do movement. And then one other thing that I've noticed is if you have trackball emulation, it's not going to do it until or see, like I'm tapping tapping it will not do it until you stop Let's see, okay <laughs> now that's, yeah, that, this, this is all on the fly I really haven't tested this much at all. This, I believe, yeah, it's because I took that down. I'm going to go two notches. Okay, so swipe doesn't go until it stops tap. 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 It's working. Tap. Double tap. And that's, I'm, I'm excited about this. That's why I just kind of wanted to, to get this out there as a, a pretty cool option that I never really thought about before. So thank you to I Play Ge Geometry Dash. So yeah, tap, change view. Change view. And it's not, the only time when it feels weird is like that if I want to, oh, I want to change my view. I can't because I like the track trackball. Am I saying that right? Trackball mode? Yeah. So we could try uh, just for testing. Let's take that off. Yeah. Ooh, I hate that. <laughs> Let's go high. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's feeling really nice. I'm not really ever accidentally pressing it when I don't want to. I still have, you know, quick, quick swipe. It's not accidentally pressing it. 
It really is just a deliberate, quick tap. And can still have the double tap. Now, where it starts to get a little fussy is... So if I do, like, my edge, edge click, and then I let go, see, it just... Like, if you lift your thumb off the pad quickly, like right after you click that, it's gonna fire that binding. So that would just take a little bit of muscle memory, because I think I usually do lift my thumb when I click those edge pad clicks. So yeah, you just have to get a little bit more discipline to keep your thumb on there. I don't really think there's a way around that, because what's happening... Let's stop the wind, because what's happening is... It's, it's just a limitation with the layers. So this is... I have these edge pad clicks going to a separate layer, then it's coming back to this original layer, quickly registering that I'm... Well, okay, yeah. Then it's registering that my thumb is still on it, and then firing it. But I wonder... If I give this release press... Let's go five notches. So that is on the left click. Yeah. Because it's... Alright, so it is... It's not that. Well, let's go way up here, just for testing purposes. Okay, so it's just... My thumb isn't even close to it, and it's automatically... firing. It's registering that that's still... Still a click. So, alright, let's take that down. That's not what's happening. I have one other idea. Well, just before I do that, let's just make sure... Take off the layer just to see if it is with mode shifts. Okay, yeah, it'll still do it with a mode shift. If you take your thumb off of it. Let's go back to what I had. This was a single button. Yeah, this I was doing this because um, I'm putting extra activators on those edge clicks. So that's why I have it going to an action layer. But what I want to try... So a quarter press that is empty when... So right pad click and give it some extra... And I don't know if it's going to work, but we'll try it. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's just kind of like a, a fussy... A fussy thing with how it's sending the input. But, I mean, that's... Like I said, I mean, I've basically just started playing around with this this morning. Wanted to make a little video just talking about it. Because I do think there is still... Uh, that is something that could be used. It's, it's interesting. I like it. It's not perfect. I have to figure out... It's really... Yeah, it's just... If you take your thumb off, then... Ugh, it sucks. But yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty cool. I'm digging that as something. I just wish I could figure out. Yeah, I don't really think there's a way to to get that. So just okay. Right, so just to so we have no mode shift. Mm 
Now if I click and let go, click let go, click let go, you son of a bitch. Now it's not doing it. Huh. Okay, so now if it's the mode shift, if I had mode shift to a single button going to a layer, why the hell was I doing that? I know I did that. It's because I wasn't thinking it through, and it was at a it was an evolution of the D-pad clicks. But yeah, I don't need to do that. So what if we do this? Apply action layer. Right pad clicks. Yeah. Alright, so it's... I just wanted to thoroughly test that. So it's either... A single click. With no edge clicks. Yeah. It's gonna mess it up in a mode shift. Or... An apply layer. But, this, but that makes more sense anyways. I shouldn't have had that mode shift on there. Um, what else? Is there anything else that I could try to do to fix that? I don't know. What do you guys think? Give me some ideas. What can we do here? So I have... I want it to be interruptible, for sure. That long press, when I did one notch, I felt like it wasn't firing when I wanted it to. I have the double press. Which, that shouldn't really... It shouldn't matter. Let's just test that. Yeah, it'll still do it if you lift your thumb. Yeah, I didn't think, but just to be thorough. So let's go back. Whoop, 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 whoop. We had double press to be fire for testing. I upped it just a couple. I don't want haptics. I have a corded press. On the bumper. A corded press on right pad click to make it empty. Uh, let's see what that does. I don't think that's going to work. Yeah. Well, anyways, I just kind of wanted to make that as... As something, you know, just a, a pretty great idea. So thank you to... I play Geometry Dash. So, yeah, his original thing was like for the big picture config. So, like, I'm here, I have my cursor here, I just do a tap. Yeah, like, I could just hover the cursor, tap, tap. Why is that not so actually selecting it? That, that'll be something. I'll, yeah, I need to fiddle with my. Uh, Big picture config. It's just doing the select. You know what? That's. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I don't need to dig into that. I can fix that later. That's not important to this video. Yeah, I just wanted to go over that that does feel pretty good. And actually, I was originally thinking that it would. Uh. I was thinking that it would replace the double tap, like you wouldn't be able to do both. But no, you can still do... You can still have both. The only issue, the only minor frustration, which is maybe just a playstyle thing, is that I tend to take my thumb off when I click those edge clicks. 
and I need to just keep my thumb on. It's not, yeah, it's like, I just need to keep my thumb there for a fraction of a second, and then it won't do it. I think but that's, yeah, that's enough that it's bugging me, and I'm hesitant to start putting that into all of my configs, because I feel like people might also do that and accidentally... Uh, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, and that's that's it. I'm extra rambly again. It's because this is totally untested. Wasn't even sure what I was going to be talking about. I just wanted to kind of dig into it. Plus, you could sort of see how I try to troubleshoot some th troubleshoot some things as I'm in there. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, what what do you think? What do you have some crazy idea? Because you guys do come up with great ideas. Uh, this is a perfect example. I wouldn't have thought of this. I feel like I tried to do everything I could to alleviate that accidentally firing. I think it's just... It's just a problem with the way mode shifts and layers transition. It, yeah, I think it might just be a muscle memory thing. You just have to get used to keeping your thumb there for a second. Tap, tap. Yeah, that feels nice. All right. That's that's all I got. Holy crap. I got to I got to focus. Even even saying that, I'm getting distracted. I'm thinking trying to think oh, what can I do? It'll probably come to me when I'm like in the middle of a workout or in the middle of the shower or pooping. Somewhere where I'm not in front of the computer. Like, oh wait, what if I do blah blah blah? That might fix it. And now I'm distracted too, because I just want to run up here. I suddenly had the urge to... Shoot the glass. <laughs> that is a satisfying sound. Doesn't actually shatter out, though. Yeah, that's that's the only gripe with Arma. I mean, jeez, it's crazy that this still looks this good. But it just doesn't have, like, full destruction. Like, physics destruction. They just have some damage states. Alright, yep, that's it. Pretty cool thing. Thanks, thanks for pointing that out. That's a nice little arsenal. Nice little... Nice little tool in the arsenal. Another screwdriver in the toolbox. As they say. Doop, doop. Hi. You hungry? Looking for a tempting treat? Hold on till I absorb some heat. Some added tang might please you too. I'll slide into an oven fresh bun. And I'm ready for your eating fun. Why don't you try a juicy good hot dog? Mmm, delicious.